Tom's here today because for this quick fire challenge, you'll be working with one of his favorite ingredients, mushrooms. It's the ultimate ingredient because mushrooms are the closest you can get to eating the earth. Finally, mushrooms. That's what I've been waiting for. I know it's the season. Give me my weapons. The pantry here behind me represents mushrooms from seven different regions here in Oregon. Including Portland, also known as Stumptown. So in honor of the city's namesake, your only prep station today will be the stump. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Give us a mushroom forward dish. You have some great ingredients here to build flavor really quickly, including variety of products from Better Than Bouillon. There's no immunity for the quick fire, but the winner of this quick fire challenge will receive $10,000 courtesy of Better Than Bouillon. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> you have just 30 minutes on the clock for this challenge. So knock on wood, because your time starts now. Oh, it's a hug from Rhea. <laughs> There's mushrooms that I never thought that I was gonna see. To be able to get mushrooms where I'm from, it's an arm and a leg. Nice. I like, I like. The first thing I decide is pick the right stump. Too big, no good. Too small, it's gonna hurt your back. Oh, it's so short. This is yeah. the first time my height has played an advantage to me. <laughs> is that lobster mushroom? It looks yeah. like a lobster, that's weird. Tom is never here doing quick fire challenges. I don't wanna mess up, so I choose lobster mushrooms because I know that their texture is very meaty and I can make them the star of the dish. <laughs> Come in, come in. Oh, baby. I found some foie. You found foie? I found foie. What's up with that? So I'm gonna do a little foie and figs and golden chanterelles. Golden chanterelles are my dad's favorite, so this is kind of for him. We have similar ideas. Do we now? Figs and mushrooms. For chanterelles, you have to cook them in the pan long enough that the water comes out. Come on, cook. And then you're left with the mushroom that will then begin to caramelize. It's very tasty. Oh, it's so full in here. Who's in here? Can y'all come in or out? You know, it's very important to cook your mushrooms all the way through, so I am kind of waiting in line for the wood fire oven. I'll be out in 19 minutes, done. <laughs> I'll be done in two minutes. <laughs> Better than bouillonny. Woo! Shota, how's the height on the stump for you? This isn't too bad, because I'm short, dude. I hate to show that. Yeah, you. Show that those fryers on or no? Uh, they better be because I'm doing katsu. Katsu is breaded and fried. I have a katsu restaurant in Seattle, so I wanted to give a little nod to that bar. Probably going to be other people who are doing fried mushrooms, but I'm going to try to fry it better than them. Are you doing the same thing as me, homie? <laughs> After I get my mushrooms in a wood fire oven, I turn to the fryer and I find out that that too is occupied. So I'm a little bit frustrated and trying to wait in line again. Oh, I'm coming over. Hey, 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 hey. Put it down for a second. No, no, just for a second. Just I need them up. Thank oh, you. you need them up? Yeah. <laughs> Can I put them on this cooling rack, chef? No, no, I need it right there. I... I'm going to drop them again. Fryer hogs today. Three minutes. <sighs> no. Hey, someone's burning figs here. Dawn, it's you. My figs are caramelizing. Okay. Perfect. I just want to help you. I think that this taco looks gorgeous, and I really want to win a quick fire. Get on the plate, chef. What, what? Come on, Byron, get it on the plate. Three, two, one. Time's up. Utensils down. Poquito salado el mío. Mushy mushrooms. Thank you. You're welcome. Mushroom chicken fingers. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So I did fried chicken of the woods mushrooms with a mushroom ranch and mushroom barbecue sauce. You're pretty tall. How was it working on the stumps? I had to go on my knees to cut some stumps early. No, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made a mushroom katsu with kind of a classic katsu sauce. Thank you so much. Thank you. More mushrooms, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I made fried chicken of the woods with a mushroom cream. I'm still chewing. Thank you. I made for you today some uh, sear foie with white chanterelles, oyster mushrooms, oven roasted fig, and herbs. The white chanterelles, my dad's favorite. That's why I chose those. I made uh, wood fire uh, roasted mushrooms with chili vinaigrette. What is the white sauce? It is a, a tarragon mascarpone cream. Thanks. I did a chicken of the woods schnitzel. 
Nice and crispy. Thank you. Of course. Gabe. Thank you. I've made a uh, chanterelle mushroom taco and the tortilla I made with mushroom bouillon. There's a fig in here, there's fig in here too, right? Yeah, there's a fig, a chili, and a uh, Meyer lemon jam. Thank you so much. I made a sauteed crab with uh, chanterelle and oyster mushrooms, two of my favorites. I made a lobster mushroom and chanterelle cabbage wrap. So should I wrap this in? If you want, it's gonna be messy, but whatever floats your boat. Mm. I told you it's messy. So we have a confit and grilled mushroom over bulgur. Thank you. Who had one of our least favorite dishes, Tom? I think Chris, of all the fried mushrooms, yours was cut the thickest, and they were still raw. And who else? Nelson. You couldn't taste the mushrooms at all, all kind of mixed up in there with the crab. Byron, I like that you can't feed the mushrooms, but uh, you gotta check your salt. Who had one of our favorite dishes? One of the favorites uh, was Gabriel. The mushrooms were nicely cooked, really well seasoned. Thank you. And then that little pickled shallot just gave it a little pop of, uh, of acid, so that was really nice. Dawn, you cooked the mushrooms really, really well. The mascarpone was a little creaminess to the dish. Thank you. Gabe, the tortilla was beautifully made. It had some mushroom flavor, a lot of heat, but it was really nice. I guess because Yale said my food was mild last week. Uh, <laughs> the winning dish was the chef that cooked the mushrooms the best, had uh, the most mushroom forward flavor, and that chef is Gabriel. Ooh. It's nice to finally get like a win and not just be in the top three. Congratulations, Thank Gabriel. You. you just won $10,000 from our partners at Better Than Bouillon. Well, thanks for stopping by, Tom. Take care. Bye. <laughs>